What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and what was supposed to be a simple weapons balance patch for Destiny has turned into an absolute shitstorm. Like, it is absolutely insane how many people within the Destiny community are outright pissed off about the changes that Hotfix 2.5.0.2 brought to the game. The community reaction is overwhelming. The amount of people who are making tweets, making posts. If you go to the Destiny subreddit, almost every post hitting the front page right now for the last few days since the patch actually hit has been all complaints about this new hotfix. Again, the community response is overwhelming about these changes. And so that's why we need to talk about this. We are going to talk about what went wrong. We're going to talk about why people are upset, what could have been done differently to prevent these outrages and what can be done in the future to address these concerns. This isn't just me, you know, getting my digs in on Bungie or anything like that, but quite frankly, considering how strong the community reaction has been, it would be irresponsible of me as a Destiny YouTuber to ignore this, to just pretend, oh yeah guys, everything is fine in Destiny, there's no trouble here, like, some people would prefer me do that, but we're gonna tackle the tough issues every once in a while, this isn't Teletubbies guys, we gotta have a little bit of spice mixed in. So. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about patch 2.5.0.2. .2. Why are people pissed off? Well, let's just hit the nail on the head. Let's go right for kind of the critical hit on a huge issue, which was the glitch that the Hungering Blade nerf caused. So what happened is that Bungie nerfed Hungering Blade, which is the subclass node that lets you get health back when you get a kill with your Blade Dancer super. And to me, this wasn't a super necessary nerf. I totally understand Bungie's positioning and I understand when they explained it like look you do all this work on a blade dancer super you get him almost no health and he kills one of your idiot teammates that walks in front of the guy and he gets all his health back so quickly and there's like, no chance to finish him off you just can't do anything about it and actually with this nerf and with the limitations to special ammo making it so that getting special ammo is a little bit harder you're not going to have the ability to shotgun melee um, a blade dancer as easily anymore because because again, you're likely just going to have your primary. I understand why they made this nerf. Truly, I do. But it wasn't something glaringly overpowered. When I was listening to the complaints about the Crucible, Hungering Blade almost never came up. I, in fact, it didn't. I did not see one comment at all leading up to this update asking for a Hungering Blade nerf. I understand why they did it, but it wasn't incredibly overpowered. It wasn't super necessary. And the worst part is that on top of all of this, it's not why they did it. It's the fact that it glitched out every single ability and perk in Destiny that has anything to do with health regeneration. So, cauterize for your hammers is nerfed. The Red Death exotic ability, a gun that didn't even see a lot of play, is nerfed. Apparently it's complete crap now. One of the worst things for me is like, I made a Titan, I love the Defender Titan. Now if you pop your bubble, you do not get at any degree of health back. Someone made a post on the Destiny subreddit where they showed them popping a bubble and getting killed because they got no health because of it. They got like the tiniest sliver of health. It was so pathetic. So there's a huge nerf to Defender Titans. Was anyone saying that Defender Titans needed a nerf whatsoever? No. And that is a huge problem that six or seven abilities got nerfed that did not deserve it because Bungie nerfed something that also didn't really deserve it. You can see like why people are getting very, very agitated by these changes. Now Bungie, thankfully, they addressed these changes right off the bat. They addressed this was a glitch right off the bat. They said they were at least transparent enough to say, this is a glitch, it's also affected these abilities. And I'm glad they did that, it would have been pretty sketchy if they would have just pretended that everything was fine. And then the community would have just had to find out for themselves what was wrong. With that being said, Bungie also admitted that they considered delaying the hotfix. And actually, a lot of people, a lot of people are saying, yeah, you should have done that. 
you should have delayed the hotfix to make sure this massive issue wasn't going to happen. A lot of other people, and I t have to agree with them, like, I'm sorry, Bungie, but what are your quality assurance people doing? Like, who's testing these updates? Because here's the problem with all of these changes. Actually, before I go into that, another change, just, I want to talk about this first. So, rangefinder for shotguns was supposed to have been nerfed. If you have rangefinder with this new patch, now it's supposed to decrease your aim down sight's effectiveness by increasing your aim down sight's time. <laughs> well, guys, um, it actually does the opposite of that. Now, with rangefinder, apparently, when you aim down sights with a shotgun, it aims down sights faster. It's, it's actually better. It does the opposite of what Bungie wanted it to do. So again, Bungie, where are your quality assurance people? Because the most infuriating part, and I think the fact that is really making a lot of people upset, and the main issue in kind of taking away a lot of the defenses of Bungie, because you know what, speaking of defending Bungie, just give me two seconds here to say, I feel for the people at Bungie, the programmers, who probably have their nose to the grindstone trying to do all these problems. And like, I'm not a programmer, but holy crap, I know that programmers have it rough. Like guys, in case you don't know, being a programmer can be absolutely infuriating. Like you change a line of text, you change a tiny line of code, and 10 other problems appear, right? It's just like a constant struggle to just fix something and then that has an unintended effect here and here and here and it can be really hard to actually fix an issue. I think a lot of people are under the impression that programmers simply go damage equals this and then they go delete 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 damage now equals this and that's all they do for the patches. That's not what's happening it is rather complicated. However you take away the main line of defense when you look at the fact that this hotfix took four months. It took since September 8th was the last hotfix. So September, October, November, December, January, finally, halfway through February, we get the next balance patch. So all those months, Bungie had to work on this balance patch. They take absolutely forever to bring us these changes and people grow more and more and more impatient and then Bungie themselves hype up these changes. Bungie has been talking about this patch like it's a new DLC. We had a bloody live stream for them to explain these changes. Like that's insane. It's just a weapons balance patch. Like every other game out there is making these changes. Almost every other game out here is making these changes. Battlefield doesn't make that big of a deal out of it. Call of Duty doesn't make that big of a deal out of it. It's just Destiny is hyping up this balance patch for five, four months, and then it comes out, and it's glitched! Like, things are going wrong, things are doing the opposite of what they're supposed to do. Seven abilities, eight abilities have been affected that aren't supposed to be. Like, it's a complete shit show. So, like, Bungie, I feel for you. Again, I feel for the poor guys that are there trying to program this going, Oh my god, we've, you know, nerfed cauterized, what the hell have I done? But when you take this long in between patches, the amount of sympathy I have isn't there. Like it just drains substantially because I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. If you have five months to nerf Hungering Blade, you damn well better do it right. So why are people upset? Well, it was the perfect storm of shit that went wrong, AKA a shitstorm. You had nerfs that were unnecessary. Nerfing Hungering Blade, nerfing Quick Draw on the Ophidian Aspects and a Blade Dancer and stuff, it just wasn't stuff that was being complained about. It wasn't stuff that felt overpowered. Furthermore, you had stuff that just went wrong. You had glaring glitches. And then you had kind of the cherry on top, the thing that really upset a lot of people, is the fact that the amount of time it takes between these patches is absurd. It takes so long to introduce these patches, and like I said, they finally introduce it and all of this stuff goes wrong? Bungie is literally updating us all the time in weekly updates for months saying to us, testing, 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 like we're testing everything. Like Bungie's weekly updates literally said, guys, we're, we're testing, we gotta test, 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 we gotta make sure everything's perfect. And then there's these glaring glitches. 
it's absurd. Are, are you testing? That's the main thing, and, and it's easy to ask that question, and it should be asked. Bungie, are you testing? Are you really test, test, testing? Because these massive problems, these massive glitches are still occurring. So what can be done about this? What can be done to prevent this from happening again? Because it's very upsetting as a Destiny fan, and I am a Destiny fan, I love this game. That's why I care. And it's really upsetting to see so many people within the community disgruntled and upset and shitposting and all this stuff. Like, it's sad to see the Destiny community, you know, falling apart in a sense, over some silly glitches and some silly changes. And some of the main ways Bungie can fix this and prevent this from happening again is firstly, they need to just address the current meta and stop trying to outthink everyone. Bungie is trying to make buffs and nerfs for a meta that doesn't exist. It's like when they nerfed Shoulder Charge because it was apparently going to be overpowered with the memory of Yolder. Guess what? No one uses shoulder charge. In fact, no one uses shoulder charge to a degree so insane that they actually nerfed Juggernaut. If you guys remember back in the previous meta, like, shoulder charge, I, I didn't even see it that much. I know just people who weren't playing Titan hated it. In any event, it got nerfed for just prediction reasons. It wasn't overpowered, they just predicted it would be overpowered with the memory. And you can see them do it again now, nerfing the Aphidian aspects, nerfing Quickdraw, nerfs that don't make a ton of sense. They're trying to predict a meta that no one knows how it's going to end up. They need to stop doing this. Just address the elephants in the room. Tone back shotguns, tone back the fast firing pulse rifles just a little bit. I didn't even think they really needed to do much other than lower the insane flinch. But don't try to outthink the meta don't try to make these nerfs in prediction for a meta that you don't have any idea what is going to be because you're just going to cause huge problems additionally and most importantly these changes cannot take four five months because one of the main reasons why people are upset right now is if you're unhappy with the new meta if you hate the special ammo changes or if you hate the nerf to blade dancer and hungering blade or whatever where's your salvation like let's say for argument's sake let's say Bungie realizes that nerfing Hungering Blade or nerfing the special ammo was a mistake and they acknowledge that and they say we went too far It's not a necessary nerf. In fact, it's changed the meta for the worst now for the special ammo Personally, I just like the change like it's nice to not have something to have something so different than the previous meta Quite frankly, and I'm interested to see how things play out But let's say just for argument's sake that it's a disaster that people are hating it You were gonna have to wait four or five months for the next patch like that is the most frustrating thing how long will it take for them to address this glitch to cauterize to ward of dawn to the red death all of that stuff will that take four to five months to fix like that's the most disheartening thing about all of this i would understand this mistake i would understand everything if we could expect you know a, an emergency buffer an emergency patch but the way bungie has worded it they've said oh we're just interested to see how these things turn out we could literally be waiting half a year or almost half a year before any of these changes are already addressed and even though yes destiny 2 is on the horizon and once destiny 2 comes out people aren't going to be playing a ton of destiny anymore i know i won't but still, it's very disheartening that Bungie makes these mistakes and make these unnecessary nerfs, and then we're gonna have to wait so long to get these fixed, so Bungie needs to pick up its bootstraps and patch stuff more regularly. And in this sense, maybe your anger should be directed towards Activision and not Bungie. There is a possibility that the poor live team, the six people working their asses off, potentially, on these updates, they just have no support because Activision has designated all 950 other employees to work on Destiny 2 and the next four expansions for it or whatever. Maybe it's time to say, look, Activision, pull some guys off that team, pull some guys off the bloody DLC team of all places, and help the live team out. Maybe the live team is just strapped for manpower. Maybe they're doing the best they can, but they literally don't have QA people. Like I said, where's the testing? 
where's the quality assurance? There may not be any. It may just be the live team working their butts off trying to, you know, rewrite the code to patch all this stuff and then they have to test it themselves for a little bit at the end of the day. This is all hypothetical. I'm not saying this is true. And quite frankly, no matter what is actually happening to cause these issues, something needs to be done to address it. Because we can't have the next patch, whenever it's going to be, be a disaster when it launches. And most concerningly, what's going to happen for Destiny 2? Destiny, the original Destiny has had bad patch after bad patch after bad patch. Every single time there's changes that don't make any sense. Every single time there's glitches and hidden changes that, you know, make the game not necessarily worse, but make a lot of people upset. The nerfs to exotics, like we're going to talk about maybe in a different video, how the truth is absolutely neutered in PvE, where it wasn't even seeing a ton of play. It just doesn't make any sense. There needs to be something done to the patches, to the corporate culture at Bungie to prevent this from happening again, because we can't have, we can't have for this game to stay healthy, for the community to stay healthy, we can't have such massive portions of the Destiny community getting super upset every time there's a simple weapons balance patch. Again, all these other games are doing that all the time and no one's freaking out. Why does Destiny have to do it so poorly? And so guys, those are my thoughts on this issue. Now, if you agree with me, if you want to see Bungie get it together, you know, Activision, give them the resources they need or whatever actually needs to happen to happen so that a simple weapons balance patch isn't a complete disaster, please help this video out. Support it by liking, commenting, and especially sharing. The people who, you know, share this shit on Twitter, you guys are the true MVPs because otherwise, you know, Bungie would not be paying attention to this stuff. And Bungie, you know what? No hate. Like, I understand you guys are working hard on Destiny 2, you're working hard and you love Destiny. But, we wouldn't be doing our job as your loving fans if we just let shit like this go. Obviously, we want to be able to have weapons balance patches that don't divide the community, for goodness sakes. In any event, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and if you want to see more Destiny content, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. And if you actually want to be notified of new uploads, be sure to press the bell beside subscribe. Now, if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at RickCacus. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, have a good day.